Hey folks, Blair Flames here. Right, in this video I've decided I'm going to show you the rest of my belt kit and things like that because at the end of the day I didn't really make sense when I just showed them one pouch. So, right, let's start up here. Up here I've got my multi tool and my more eldest. They stay here but in a situation, they don't look too technical. So, yeah, if I need to take them off, I can take them off, I can put them in the back. So, down here. As you all know, that's my first aid kit. If you want to see again, again guys, if you want to see that video of that first aid kit, just let me know in the description. Right. Here, in this little pouch, I have a monocular. I don't want um, vinyls because they take up short room and they're a lot heavier. This is quite light. This does. 30 times 25 or 1000 slash 7000 M. So it's good. It fits in nicely in that little pouch and it's there so I can, if I need it, I can see I've got it. Don't forget, guys, this is my belt for my rucksack as well as my shoulder straps for my rucksack. Here I have what I call my foraging bag. It is one of those. Dump pouches, but I call it my foraging bag. Right, I'm going to pause you there. For, actually, I know I'll go on this side quickly because then I can go through these two pouch. This one, my wall of all pouch, and this one separately, so you can see it. Right, I'll go for this side quickly then first. Here, I have my compass. It is a Zinto compass. It's a very good one. Yeah, and hard to believe. I know and I didn't realise this. They have a northern hemisphere one and they have a southern hemisphere one. So if you live in the southern hemisphere, I'll go you to buy your southern hemisphere one. If you live in the northern hemisphere, buy the northern hemisphere one. I didn't realise that, I didn't know that until I bought it. And on the other side here, next to it, I have a nice wind up tool. Really good, handy one. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to pause you for a minute, take off the bag, and then we'll see what, then I'll show you the rest of it. Right, so now you could probably hear me and hopefully you can see me. Right, this here is my water bottle pouch plus my pot pouch. This pouch is not finished. None of this is finished. It's just I'm still working on it. This pouch here is the pouch I'm replacing that other pouch with. I've done the video, my last video I've done on this kit. I like the pouch, but the problem was when I put this back on the rucksack, it didn't. The um, rip away piece just got in the way and it was kind of destroying the rest of the thing and it was basically not doing it properly so I had to replace it to this one this one either go on the outside of my rucksack or in the inside it doesn't matter it's my rucksack's empty I don't really carry a lot but it's there this is my backup kit remember guys with the rest of this I can survive yeah and as well I will be adding to this kit another top so yeah Right, let's go back to this bottle, this pouch here, this is my bottle pouch. This pouch here is going to be my food pouch. It's not hard to got any food in it at the moment, it's only got one part packet of... Oats, oh, you can't see that because the light behind you. So one pack of oats, but oats to me is a good source of energy. It's a slow releasing energy food, so I will pack more oats than I will pack anything else. Right, in here, as you can see, I have a bamboo teaspoon. I use these all the time. I like them. I prefer using this with my cookser. My cookser is in my rucksack. It's not in this bag. It in, it's in the rucksack. So, yeah, I have that one. If I can fit my cookser in this pouch, I would carry my cookser. But sadly, I can't. It doesn't fit. And I have my new spork. I haven't used this one yet. I haven't given it a go. I will use it. I will give it a go. I didn't like my last one, the plastic one. Just didn't like it at all. I found it really flex flexible and just didn't felt comfortable when I was using it. But this one is quite neat. This one's got the spoon, bottle opener, can opener, lanyard hole, knife, fork. So, yeah, it is a good one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six in one. 
I don't know why I class the lanyard hole as one of the things, but I class that five in one. It's a good piece of kit. I will be trying out the can opener in the next couple of days because at the end of the day, a can opener is going to be better than nothing to see what happens. I have, I am pushing a P, whatever it's called, P45 or whatever you want to call it, into this bag here. But this more time, I haven't because I haven't had time, and I'm not just that. I haven't had the money to buy one at the moment, but I will get one in the next couple of months. I might get that next month in September, so we'll soon see. Yeah, so my spork, good bit of kit. I haven't used it yet, as I said, but it does look like a good bit of kit. Put it the wrong way round, might help if I put it the right way round. And that just goes in the molly in the inside of the inside a bit piece. So yeah, and so does that. That just fits in the molly as well. I can change these two over. The molly is bigger this side than this side, but I don't. Yeah, and that's okay. it's got to be added more to it. Right, let's go into this pocket side. Oh, this side, this bit. If I can open it up, there we go. As you can see, it's enough empty. Yeah, I've still got all of that room up here. If I want to stick someone else in here, I've still got all of that room up the top here. It's empty. If I really wanted to, I could take the spoke out of here and I could fit it in here. But at the moment, I'd like it in there because I don't know where it is. So, in here, we have. A bottle, steel bottle, really good, pardon me, sorry, steel bottle, really good bottle, with, oh my god, wait, wait. with a cotton bandana, I know it's attached on with elastic band, I'm not, keep it, I don't want to keep the elastic band, but that's the only thing I've got at the moment, I don't have any, I can't find my range of bit bands at the moment, so, that's the only thing I've got, so, we have nice that one, and in the bottom of this pouch, it's normally quite easy to take out, but since I put that spork in, it's not. Let's take that spork out. And since I've done something to it, it's not so easy to come out. But it's coming, there we go. I have my 500ml cook pot. I did paint this black myself because I thought it might be quicker to heat up for it. And that does come with a nice lid. Okay, so as I said, if I had to lead everything behind, I've still got this kit, I've still got some of the boil water in. Yeah, and I've still got some of the cooking. I know a lot of people might say I've got too many redundancy items when once you see the rest of my kit in my rucksack. But at the end of the day, this is just the way I am. I prefer it this way. I don't like doing any other way. So let me just pause you there, guys. Then I'll turn the, the um, belt around and then you'll see the other side. Right, as you can see, this is a pouch here. But before we go into that, on this pouch here, as I said, this is the pouch with this is still, still got every single content. What was in the other pouch? I've decided one of these Wilson's um, single use torch. It's a good little thing, it's bright, not just that, I will be able to, um, what do you call it, get to it. It might stay here, but it more likely be moved on, it more likely go into, a, into my, one of my kits, it might go into a kit, so yeah. Right, let's go to this pouch here now. Right, on this pouch, as you can see, I am a Union Jack. I am English, I'm proud to be English. So that's the reason why that's there. I will be having one put on one of my pouches up here as well, as well as having one on my first aid kit. Right, I'm changing this. I'm hoping to get a new pen soon. I'm hoping to get a tactical pen instead of having this cheap Parker pen. This free Parker pen, I'm not complaining, it was free. So I didn't pay for nothing from it, but the problem is, it doesn't really work that well. I had forgotten to add my carpenter pencil into this bag, 
but I will add it later on when, um, when I'm finished. So I've got a pen there. I'm thinking about taking the pen out, putting the commentary pen in there, pencil in there, or a how do I call it? Tactical pen. I ain't decided yet. More likely will be a pencil. Right, underneath the flap here in the clip is my new Hunson Bay tin. I'm not going to call it a tobacco tin because it's not technically classed as a tobacco tin, according to the company. According to the company, it's called um, Wild Edible Tin. So that's not what I'm going to put into it. I'm thinking about putting my steel into this with some flint. And if you want to see where I get my flint from, I'll leave a link in the corner so you can watch that video and you'll be amazed. I was when I found it. So, yeah. And I'm thinking about instead of adding char cloth to this tin, I'm going to add some amadou because I find amadou so much easier for me to use than char cloth. I find char cloth just over time breaks down. So, yeah. So that's that one there. Right, in this zip here, the first zip of the thing, I have a whistle. As you all know, I love whistles. I don't leave the house without one. I have my red, um, red light torch. Yes, it is. This is the only double A torch I carry. Most of my torches are triple A, but this one here is a double A. But I'm glad it's a double A because at the end of the day, it's better. Not just that, I can still get a AAA if I want to, if I can find a AAA battery to, um, red lens, I will carry it. So, yeah. So, yeah. I have an all-weather notebook. There's nothing in this at the moment because it's a brand new one. I am going to be putting things in the back to remember. But until then, I have that one. And in here, guys... I have my batteries. I have five AA batteries and I think it's six hearing aid batteries. Yes, it is six. No, it's, yeah, it's six. See, there's my hearing aid batteries and there's my AA batteries. Sorry about that, guys, someone's just done. I saw it on Facebook and it, it just came through on my laptop automatically because I'm using my webcam. I did use my phone. I was using the camera, but the, my camera died and then the phone thought it was a good idea to cut off halfway through. So, yeah. So, let's go back to what I was talking about. Yeah, so I do have some I do have some hearing aid batteries in here. I'm thinking about adding another pack of hearing aid batteries because they last two weeks for, for one. One lasts two weeks, but I've got to have two for two here because I've got two hearing aid batteries, two hearing aids. So, that's that's only two, four, six. That's only six weeks. That's it. So I might add another packet or I might add another two. I haven't decided yet. I do get them for free so I can get how many I want to put in there. So that's my battery little case. It's small, it's compact. I don't like the plastic ones. The plastic ones can just go and go in the bin. Or um, all I would say. I have two of these little pouches. I have one here in this pouch and I have one in my main rucksack. And as well in the bottom here, I do have some, they're not matches, I do have some of these weird looking smoke grenades, I haven't tried it out yet, I'm too nervous to try them out, but we'll soon see. So yeah, that's all what's in this pouch for the minute. For some reason I can't fit everything back in now. There we go. I think that's opened back in properly. There we go, everything's back in properly now. Now I can put the notebook in. No, I can't because for some reason it's not going in properly. There we go, that's in. There's the whistle. I will might move the batteries into the back pouch, back panel because there's more time. I have, oh, what I have in here is um, Hand sanitizer hand wipes. I am taking the I might be taking these hand wipes out. I might change it to hand sanitizer instead of the hand wipe because there's only twelve in here. 
and a bottle of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Excuse me, so I thought that guys can last me quite a while longer than these can. So yeah, so yeah, I'm going to pause you again because I'm going to go and grab something. This here, guys, is my necklace, whatever you want to call it. So I keep it on my neck at all. I will keep it on my neck at all times when I'm out. Yeah, and that's a striker. Peanut lighter. Survival card. Another torch. I'm probably mad when it comes to torches. I know my, um, I won't say I am, so another nice sharpener, whistle, another one, and another fell rod. So that will be on my neck at all times. I don't like it at the moment because I find it's a bit too short. And not just that, I don't like it because it's quite bulky, so I'm trying to slim that down at the moment. So yeah, that's that one there. Right, this one here. I'm not going to go for the whole kit because there's no point. You see the video. I'll leave a link of the last video of my first aid kit. This is not the same. It's not the same pulp, but it's the same content. No enough. But instead, I've added a few things to it. I've added another whistle. As I said, I'm big on whistles to me personally. I've added a doctor's torch. And I've got some gloves in here. As you all know, there's my trauma scissors and my main first aid kits in there. But in the bottom here, this is the stuff I recommend to people. I carry some of it. I've got some of my extra first aid stuff in. So. I will, if you want to see, as I said, if you want to see a video of my contents of this new first aid kit, just let me know. Please leave it in the description. I will get onto it. I know I have got two tag videos to do, so, and I know I've got to get them done sooner than later. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because it's nearly, it's over 17 minutes, so this is a bit longer than what I expected. Right, remember, guys, this is part two. If you want to see the contents in this pouch, I will leave a link at the, at the, in, in the corner as well. So, Please like, please share, please subscribe, tell me what you think, tell me what you would add, what you take away. Um, as I said, this is not finished, so I'm still working on it. So yeah, once it's finished, I will do a final one thing. Okay guys, so please like, please share, please subscribe. I'm on Facebook, if you want to contact me on Facebook, I will leave my email address in the description. If you want to email me, and I'll speak to you soon. Alright, bye guys, bye.